Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to today's Bitcoin update Tuesday 19th of October and uh, uh, very quickly I'm just gonna dive into the one hour time frame right here and we're gonna talk about the one hour time frame okay we ran into some level of resistance during the past few days and you can see this level was acting as resistance okay we had some few touches we had touched right over here went down Another touch right over here went down, another touch from this area went down, and this one went down, until we finally didn't actually break out of this area. Now look, um, we've already broke out of this resistance point, and uh, to, to show you, we, we are retesting this resistance, okay? We finally broke out of it, we are retesting it. Now I want to see this one get successful, otherwise uh, we will go all the way down a little bit. but. Right here, I see very, very positive, positive price action movement. And the reason why I say this is because we're making some new higher lows. Okay, here and here and here. The prices are not moving any further down. So this looks very, very bullish to me. And there's a lot of reason to believe right now that Bitcoin is still very, very bullish. And uh, if the retest fails, if the retest fails, I'm going to tell you the... the, the the, uh, the next level of, of, of support and uh, if I take this you see uh, this this is a level of support you might just fall a little bit down inside this box okay if it decides to come down okay you might fall into into this level come down and you can see that's that's where the red moving average is the, the 20 EMA so it just might be a very very small drop all over to 61,000 to 62,000 nothing massive there okay just a small test maybe again move towards the outside now if you lose the red if you lose the red of course we're gonna go to the uh, 55 moving average and, and and the next support level the next support level to me uh, according to the charts right now I'm gonna tell you now uh, j just as we had resistances right over there okay um, we have a level of support right over at this place you can see this is a, is a place of of influence okay we had some few touches we had one touch there another touch there another one there look this one had a retest successfully uh, we had another touch right over there and uh, if we lose uh, this uh, if we lose this support and we lose this support as well then expect the next level is to try this EMA but for me that will be, uh, there's no any um, yeah, the, the, this EMA also does make sense because there was another resistance right over there, you see? Another uh, resistance was acting at this area. So yeah, uh, that also uh, is nearly to the 55 EMA on the hourly, but if you lose this one as well, we're coming all the way down to 60,000. Now, until you do not see uh, things losing, you, you don't have to trade. But for me, things are looking uh, very good towards the ups upward continuation. I've been saying this for the past three days that uh, 65,000 is on the cards even 66,000 is on the cards right now so yeah you, you you've come up and hit a level of resistance right over there and now you, you've gone upon it we are now back testing this level resistance and if we get successful then boom we're going to, we're going to continue all the way towards the upside and uh, let's dive in into the four hour time frame and uh, let's do some analysis on the four hour time frame Personally, for me, I'm going to tell you why we are still bullish and why we're going to continue move, moving towards the upside. Um, on the four-hour time frame, I see, I see some continuation pattern. Uh, for example, this one right here is bullish engulfing. Okay, this is a bullish engulfing, and normally what happens is. Uh, when you see a bullish engulfing like that, the prices keeps on moving towards the upside. Now, <clears throat> if I zoom out a little bit like that, you can already see that uh, on the four-hour time frame, we always failed to break this resistance right over here. And finally, the resistance has been broken. We're now back testing this resistance. If we are successful, we're going to go all the way up. And uh, in my opinion, the, the the next target, the next target, because. Uh, for me personally, we've been uh, an, into another consolidation box for a little bit here. Okay, so if we break out of this consolidation box right now, I'm just going to tell you where the next target of the Bitcoin is going to be towards the upside. Uh, so I'm going to take the height to the bottom. From there, I'm going to release it here. And this is where you can see Bitcoin going all the way to. And that, that takes us almost nearly to our all time high, which is another resistance um, of this given target. What is it? Um, 
yeah it, it's very near to this price target right over here i'm just gonna drop in the price tag which is sixty four thousand six hundred and seventy nine dollars per bitcoin okay and uh yeah so so we're looking for this target right now we're looking for this target definitely it's it's still on the plate still on the cards everything is looking good and uh and everything is looking fine on the weekly on the weekly uh remember this uh three white soldiers that i've been speaking about in the past few videos actually i spoke about this one yesterday and uh this one is still also in play now the only way to invalidate these three white soldiers is actually if you go all the way down lose this one and we move all the way down then that that's going to take us to this uh 20 ema or or, or it's going to take us to the first uh, 10 ema which is if i bring up the indicators right in the emas and let's see yeah the yellow moving average this one which is uh, uh, almost nearly to 52000 if we lose this level if we lose this level go to 52000 if you lose that we go all the way down towards this area or even try to retest this trending line but for me we're not moving all the way down uh i i see that the next month the the all of november being green okay i just see the the, the november majority of november becoming green uh for most of the coins for bitcoin as well even for the altcoins in general and uh that sums up for today's bitcoin update in my opinion uh there's nothing there's nothing much on the cards right now okay the movement is still towards the upside one more thing though i want to go really quick uh, to show you the daily time frame as well okay so in the daily time frame you can see we're already bullish we're, we're, we're sort of forming that three white soldiers as well on the daily okay so if the closing to if you see the closing tomorrow um uh tomorrow if the closing is just green again okay i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit uh, just the way we had those three white soldiers on the weekly we're now starting to form it on the daily as well and if this happens uh, uh, to be the three white soldiers we're gonna keep moving for the next three to four days even more higher you can you could move all the way to seventy thousand okay you can move all the way to seventy thousand I, if i take my fibonacci retracements if i take the uh, the fibonacci retracement we can judge exactly where we're about to move and uh, i'm just gonna remove that one right now so i'm gonna take the top to the bottom which is here which we, we, we took 59,000 uh, sorry 52,000 all the way to 39,000 once again uh, since we broke the <coughs> golden ratio which is the 0 0.618 we're going all the way to this price tag level 1.618 and you can see we're already to this resistance now you might hit uh, the 63,000 as a level of resistance maybe come down to retest uh, this wall uh, that I've been talking about, we've already retested it, but I think we're smashing through 63,000, hopefully, inshallah. We're going to smash from 63,000, go all the way to 67, 68, come back for a retest, keep moving towards the upside. Now, because this is a is a much more small time frame, I want to tell you the, the, the my main target, okay? A midterm target, if you want to call it, okay? So I'm going to zoom out even more. I'm going to take the top of 64,000 all the way down to 28, 29,000 levels. I'm going to put my Fibonacci retracements down there. And for me, for me, the continuation uh, is like this. We've already reached 0 0.618 and... Uh, the next target is 100,000, uh, 100,000, uh, yeah, we, we can reach this level of resistance and uh, that could, sums up my Iliot wave theory for this, um, one, two, three, four, five, then now I'm going to tell you what's happening, okay? If I tell you about the Iliot wave theory, this is the first wave, the second wave, and we're going to have a third wave, okay? this completes the third wave we could go for the fourth wave until 1.272 this could be act as level of resistance and normally what happens is that when you when you hit 100k people are going to think that uh 100k is the, is the end of the bull run and uh, this could be the bear trap of uh, 81,000. but but for me the top of the market takes you all the way to two hundred thousand dollars okay and uh I'm going to do a very long forecast, a very long-term forecast until 2026, and you're going to understand why I think uh, $2 million is going to be my price prediction. And I also have a video in my channel, you can check that out, why do I think uh, $2 million is going to be uh, achieved uh, by 2026. 
and uh, thank you so much for watching today's video uh, video and keep trading nicely keep grinding i'll see you tomorrow with a new video thank you so much for the massive support it really means a lot to me and uh yeah i love you